Hey everyone, this is Mike Yeroux from Dividend Stocks Rocks. I hope you're doing well. So today we're talking about Canadian stocks, uh, but I didn't want to discuss companies that are too classic, too common. So hopefully you'll find a few good found. And I tried to pick a little bit of everything. So you have some growth oriented, some others for income seeking investors. So we're talking about five, six, seven percent yield, and then sometimes 1.5 yield. Please know that it's always important that you do your own due diligence. I am not responsible um, if you're uh, if if you're losing money after making any trades. So please. Do your own research. Those stock picks are not to be made a full portfolio either. Um, so hopefully that you will find something interesting. But then again, make sure that it fits with your investing strategy, your investing plan, and your existing portfolio. For those who don't know me, my name is Mike Yehou. Uh The accents you, he, you hear right now is because I'm French Canadian. Uh, I've been married forever, like 22 years with my wife. Um, we have three amazing kids together. In 2016, I decided to quit my job and go on a major road trip. Uh, we traveled the world, basically. We started in Montreal and we ended up in Costa Rica. Then I realized that designing my own lifestyle was probably one of the most important thing um, ever. I decided to quit my job as a private banker and then um, start working full-time at Dividend Stocks Rocks. Uh, this website has been created for dividend investors back in 2000. 2013. It was kind of like a side project for me. Uh, and then it grew up to over 1,000 members uh, recently. When I started investing, uh, it was in 2003, uh, I started facing uh, one of the major problems that we all face as an investor, lack of sector diversification. Basically, Half of the money that is invested right now is invested in only two sector. And while I really like Canadian banks, I think it's not enough to build my own portfolio. While I was writing about dividend investing, I just realized how interesting it was and how uh, it's great because it's a passive strategy. Once you do a lot of research at first to find those uh, hidden gem that keeps increasing your dividend, then you're set for a long time and most of most of the time you just like feel very good about what you have in your portfolio because you're getting paid on a quarterly basis. And this is a, uh, is a great, um, is a great way to go through bear market as well. So now we're going to move ahead with my 10 favorite picks right now. The first one is Andrew Peller. Uh, those who have been following me through Dividend Guy blog or uh, at DSR knows that I really like this company. Um, the stock me seems a bit overvalued in terms of if you look at the, uh, the dividend discount model or if you use the P ratio. But uh, this is, don't forget that this is a growth stock. So we're talking about a company that did 17 acquisitions since 1995. And Andrew Peller now has 10% of the wine market in Canada. So it's the largest player there. Um, the company is also trying to diversify its business through the beer market and whiskey. We're really looking to invest a lot of money into marketing, into branding at Andrew Peller to keep uh, the growth coming. Um, the yield is low, 1.5%, not quite interesting, but the five-year uh, annualized dividend growth rate is at 9%. So basically this stock is offering a good growth perspective because it's growing its revenue through acquisition. And at the same time, the dividend will continue to increase uh, with a high single digit going forward. Moving on to number two, which is CAE. Uh, basically, they're uh, doing like training and simulators uh, services into three uh, different segments. Uh, we're talking about civil aviation training solutions, defense and security, and a small portion is coming out from healthcare. So this one is more like a diversification, a try. Uh, most of the, the money is coming out from the civil and the defense center. They show bookings for the upcoming year in the defense uh, industry of 265 million uh, so there's a lot of growth going out there and they're now expanding through the healthcare system what I like about CAA is that training is never outdated you always have to keep return returning to uh, improve your um, your knowledge because technology evolves the airplanes are different so you need to go back and do some more training and simulators so this is what is great about it it's recurring revenue all the time once again small yield, but strong dividend growth perspective over there. 
Uh, now we're moving into the financial service, but we're not talking about a bank. We're talking about an uh, aggressive asset manager called Fiera Capital. Uh, this company has been buying and making acquisition like crazy for the past years. If you look at the asset under management growth, we're talking about 29 billion in 2011, so less than 10 years ago, and now we're at 145 billion. That is just crazy. And the dividend growth has been double digit for the past five years, and still the company is offering a 7% yield. Compared to last year, they had a very great quarter, but compared to last quarter, so sequentially, um, revenues are is slowing down. So it might be a tough run going forward for a few years. Obviously, everybody is like quite uh, concerned about the current market because it doesn't seems to go down at any point. We're just like having like small flashes, uh, small correction, but nothing compared to a real bear market. So everybody's asking, well, is it the time that it will finally happen? And if it does, well, obviously, uh, Fiera shares are going to go down. But in the meantime, the dividend is safe. And at 7 yield, at 7% yield, it's quite an occasion if you're looking for uh, some additional income. Now, one of my um, favorite from this list, Entertape Polymer. During my trip, uh, my VR trip, like there were like two things that were essential. And the first one was a fresh bottle of wine to have on the beach. And the second thing was a duct tape, a roll of duct tape, because everything can be fixed with duct tape. And Entertape Polymer understood that. And now 60% of their sales are coming out of like some kind of tapes. Uh, basically, with the growth of e-commerce, we're talking about a lot more boxes being shipped everywhere. So you need protective package, you need tapes. So Entertape is surfing right now on strong economic tailwinds. What they do is they, uh, they acquire other, like I would call like tape companies, um, and then they can offer their products are doing cross sales among those acquisition. Uh, they've been doing very well. You have a five year dividend growth rate of 3%, but it has been more than a year that the company hasn't increased its dividend. The reason is quite simple. They rather focus on acquiring new businesses. I decided to buy Entertate Polymer about a year ago in my portfolio because I think that the company is poised for strong growth and with a USD dividend payment at 4% yield, it is quite interesting to have you in the in your portfolio. Uh, another one of my favorites, you probably know about Open Text. This is not like a small company. It's probably like one of the best tech stock uh, in the Canadian market. Mind you, we don't have much of them. You know, like all companies have a bunch of data about their employees, about their products, about their business. And this data is being just accumulated like all the time. And it's hard to understand it and package it and see graph and take action to improve your productivity. So Open Text is offering an enterprise info management system that, that is enabling their customers to uh, manage their data in the best way. Uh, they have over 100,000 clients. Uh, the move towards a cloud-based system is one of the strongest tailwind here. Uh, and what is amazing about this company is that we're talking about recurring revenue. So the software they offer goes like a subscription. So it's very interesting. And open text is also growing very fast through acquisition. Obviously it's a tech stock. So whenever a new so a small startup comes up in this field, it could disrupt the whole thing with a better software, a better approach. But right now they, they, they do well, they are growing fast. And even though the uh, dividend is small at 1.5%, it's not much. Uh, keep in mind the past five years, it has been growing by 15% on an analyzed base. So we're talking about a very strong dividend grower here. And on top of it, you'll have a uh, shares appreciation perspective as well. I hope that you had uh, that it had given you some value, some ideas, and uh, we'll talk to you soon because we're definitely going to do more webinars like this. So take good care and uh, enjoy summer. Cheers.